Shoes beginning to drop at the Capitol as one lawmaker resigned following sexual harassment allegations today, and another was suspended by his peers from key leadership positions. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. It started this morning when Assemblyman Raul Bocanegra announced his resignation, a week after he said he would finish out his term. Less than an hour later, the Senate announced Senator Tony Mendoza had been suspended from several committees he was serving on. CBS 13's Lamar Abrams is live at the Capitol with the latest on this. Lamar? Tony, as you know, this issue has rocked the state capitol since hundreds of women signed a published letter exposing sexual misconduct in this building. And tonight, state lawmakers tell me the removal of these two lawmakers only highlights the fact that they won't tolerate any inappropriate behavior right here at the capitol. A motion uh, to remove Senator Tony Mendoza. The Senate doesn't resume session until January, but today, Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon called this emergency hearing for a vote to remove Senator Tony Mendoza from his leadership post at the state's banking and financial institutions. A spokesman for DeLeon says Mendoza's suspension is pending the outcome of the ongoing investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct against him. DeLeon, who's in the middle of a statewide campaign for U.S. Senate, recently announced he moved out of this Natoma's house he shared with Mendoza. Tonight, he issued a statement on the senator's demotion, reading in part, This is only one important step. The next is a full, independent investigation led by outside experts with publicly reported findings. For now, the assembly is scrambling to deal with misconduct claims. With elected officials, there's other issues. Who is accountable? Assemblywoman Laura Friedman is preparing for the first hearing on sexual harassment at the legislature. It follows the resignation of Assemblyman Raul Bocanegra, who's been accused of misconduct by multiple women, also women who worked for him. What's happening now, as painful as it is for everybody, is healthy because no one should be afraid to come to work. And it's time that we make the changes that we need to make in our culture. And the victims who plan to testify at tomorrow's hearing say that culture shift should include whistleblower protection so women who come forward aren't fired for doing so. That hearing is set to begin at 1.30 here at the Capitol. Again, it's tomorrow, and that assemblywoman will be the chair. We know you'll cover it for us. Lamore, thanks. Now, Lamore mentioned Bocanegra. He released a statement today saying, in part, I hope the community will have a new representative sooner rather than later. Furthermore, it is my hope that in taking this action, we can help clear the path so that women and men who have been truly victims of sexual assault and workplace harassment can step forward. Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon reacted to the resignation in this statement, saying one resignation does not solve the problem, quote, with the hearings beginning tomorrow under the leadership of Assemblyman, Assemblymember Laura Friedman and with the ongoing guidance of the Legislative Women's Caucus, the Assembly will keep working to change the climate in the Capitol to stop sexual harassment and abuse. John Conyers is an icon in our country. He has done a, gr a great deal to protect women. California Representative and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi is now facing some stiff criticism over her weekend defense of Congressman John Conyers. Conyers is under investigation for a claim that he paid a former staffer more than $27,000 to settle a sexual harassment complaint. Pelosi later released a statement saying, quote, no matter how great an individual's legacy, it is not a license for harassment.